those tournament world's overall records. Um, the current overall record is held by um, Whitney McClintock, who achieved that back in 2009 with a score of 2,750 overall points. And, and Anna right now, um, right on the door of that, 2,668 overall points. So within 100 overall points of that record, and you know a little bit more here in the jump event could really help her uh, close that gap. Well, and up and over on jump number one, and if you wanted to make up points, jump is the event to do it. There's no question about it. Uh, jump is one of those events where you can have that jump that just kind of comes out of nowhere and, and sneaks up on you. You can go, what we've seen today, all the way up to five meters past your personal best. And here at Shalom Park, um, this is the place to do it. Yeah, conditions are all set. Um, this lake is known for big distances, and, and this is where these athletes are peaking for. Obviously, Anna does have the world's uh, in sight at the end of the month, but this is a tournament she's peaked for in all three events. So if this is a time for her to pop off a really big jump, you know, if it's going to be a time, this is it. So 39.2 meters on jump number one for Anna, and we'll get set and ready for jump number two. And make sure the cranky ape is down there serving up food if you're on site. Also, so many tents. Uh, go check out everything. Uh, the official T-shirt down at those tents. You want to go get that. Uh, it's just been a tremendous day up here, Stevie. And being able to work with World of Water Skiers on this gorgeous webcast. And then uh, certainly the site. Everything is really shaped up to be just a picture perfect event and and the weather said no we're not going to rain today we'll come back another day so right now uh everything looks ideal as anna gay pulling out really wide right there you see maybe drifted back a little bit in the turn but pretty good speed pretty good lift we'll have to see where that ends up yeah, she hasn't improved on that jump yet. Came into this with a 41.5 meter jump. So that's really going to be the mark we're looking to beat here. Um, not sure Anna's quite at the level with her jumping right now where she's going to jump up to that 45 meter range where I think we're going to need to see on the podium. But like we said, she's probably got her eye on that that world overall uh, record. And she already has the women U21 trick record uh, in her bag. So a big jump here and, and any improvement over that 41.5 meter jump yeah. is going to help shim that gap up between her and Whitney and you know we could see another world overall record uh, tournament record go down here all right so Anna Gay 40 meters 40 meters on jump number two getting set and ready on jump number three it, it'd be cool if we knew the exact calculation in meters of what it would take um, for Anna to take that overall but I would have to say I mean really probably if she can get over that 42 meter mark that probably would be enough Trying to take a look at, too, what she had in the preliminary round. Um, yeah, so with the 41.5, okay. so she's about a meter away. It's, a, it's about um, a meter. And as we look at uh, at that overall race, um, she is commandedly in the lead, but she is going to want to um, continue to bridge that gap between her and Kennedy Hansen. Young Kennedy Hansen just sitting about 150 points um, behind her right now. So Anna not only looking to, uh, to break that record, but to hang on to that top spot and go home uh, with the title defend her under 21 overall title all right so that one jump number three is going to be right in the same range as her first two jumps in the driver's seat so far in this overall race Anna Gay having a solid performance here on Saturday in the final round of trick and jump you see that Stevie the direction from right to left right there a good shot of that yeah, really a, a great style, and I know Anna um, sort of in her three events was uh, came into jumping uh, the latest, so she's been jumping the least amount of time, but really has a great technique, and the only thing I really see from her there was a little bit early um, out in her pullout, pulling out a little bit early the tow boat, drifting back and not carrying that speed that we talked about, and starting from a faster speed obviously is going to mean you're going to hit the ramp with a faster speed, but there's also the factor of staying out wide of that tow boat. The more you drift back, the closer you're going to drift into that first wake, and the less time you have once you turn to accelerate through that ramp. So that's why we're going to see a lot of our top athletes way up on the boat, carrying as much speed as they can, turning from their